Previously in this series we've been focused on the late Cretaceous, but for this video we're going back even further in time, about 150 million years to the late Jurassic, and featuring one of the most famous of all the dinosaurs, and my personal favourite, the Stegosaurus. So if you're ready explorers, let's go. Hey there, and welcome to Simple Home Science. My name's Chris, and on this channel we do experiments, demonstrations, and documentary style videos just like this one to help make science simple, fun, and educational for children of all ages. And if you want to join us on this journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. So let's get to it, shall we? The Stegosaurus from the Stegosauridae family belonged to a group of dinosaurs called Thyreophora. The dinosaurs in the Thyreophora group were also known as shield bearers or simply armoured dinosaurs. The Ankylosaurus was a cousin of the Stegosaurus and also belonged to the Thyreophora group. These dinosaurs were extremely well armoured and lived from the early Jurassic era to the late Cretaceous. The Stegosaurus is very well known for having two sets of bony plates running down the dinosaur's back, ending in two sets of spikes at the tail, which grew to around three feet in length. It's these plates that give the dinosaur its name. Stegosaurus translates as roofed lizard. It is not really known what the Stegosaurus used these plates for, but the common theories include using the plates in mating rituals by displaying them in the same way a peacock displays its tail today, species recognition, or for regulating body temperature, although this has been disputed many times. The spikes at the base of the tail are known as Thagomizers, and these were most probably used for defence. Fossils of the Allosaurus, which was the natural enemy of the Stegosaurus, have been found with puncture wounds from these Thagomizers. The Stegosaurus had a small head and a turtle-like beak, and was a quadruped. This means that the dinosaur walked on four legs. The hind legs were much longer than the two front legs, which suggests the dinosaur walked with its head down near the ground, and walked very slowly, around 5 miles per hour or 7 kilometers per hour. The Stegosaurus had a very small brain in comparison to the size of the animal, and was amongst the smallest of any dinosaur in relation to its brain to body size. The actual size of the brain is often disputed, but it was most probably about the size of a hot dog. That's incredible considering the size the dinosaur could grow to. The Stegosaurus lived around 150 to 155 million years ago during a period of time known as the Late Jurassic. Other dinosaurs that shared this period of time were the Brontosaurus, the Diplodocus, and the Allosaurus. Stegosaurus lived primarily in North America, but fossils have been found in Portugal. This suggests that the continents of North America and Europe were somehow connected together during the Jurassic era. The first fossils of Stegosaurus were discovered in Colorado, North America in 1876 by M.P. Felch, and were later named in 1877 by Othniel Marsh. Since then, more than 80 fossils have been found over North America and some in Europe. An adult Stegosaurus could grow to around 9 metres in length, which is 30 feet and stood between 3 and 4 metres tall, around 10 to 13 feet. The dinosaur weighed around 5 tonnes, about the same as the Triceratops. Stegosaurus was a herbivore, a plant-eating dinosaur, and mainly fed on low-lying ferns, shrubs and bushes. Grass hadn't evolved on Earth during this time period. Most herbivore dinosaurs had strong jaw muscles and large teeth to help grind down the plant material before swallowing but Stegosaurus lacked these. The Stegosaurus had a beak and no front teeth. All it had were peg-like teeth in the sides of its mouth and a weak, inflexible jaw, which restricted movement. So it probably stored food in its cheeks so it could slowly chew the plant material before swallowing. To aid the digestion of its food, the Stegosaurus could have swallowed small stones, which would have broken up the plant material in its stomach much like crocodiles do today. Many Stegosaurus fossils have been found near to each other, which suggests that these dinosaurs were social and grazed together in herds, much like the Triceratops, and lived together in social groups similar to how elephants live today. The Stegosaurus, along with the Iguanodon and the Tyrannosaurus rex, served as the initial inspiration for the creation of Godzilla. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. It really does help the channel out. And let me know in the comments below if you've got a favorite dinosaur. Like I said at the beginning of the video, for me, it's the Stegosaurus. It's everything about this dinosaur I love, from the head, to the plates, to the tail. It's just an amazing dinosaur. And if you want to see more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And until next time, see ya!